We are public safety. Public safety. Say it one more time with some. We are. We are public safety. Public safety. We are the public safety that people are looking for, right? And as we now know and we've demonstrated, because we cover the five boroughs and beyond, Surge, out there in Long Island and upstate, even right when we did the snub thing up in Yonkers and in Mount Vernon, you know, our mere presence is public safety. And so we realized that we have a big part to play in this fight, right? So. I wanted to get to say thank you. I want to welcome everybody. I wanted to greet. If you are from Brooklyn, Brooklyn, make some noise. What about if you are from Manhattan? Where you at? Harlem, Harlem, make some noise. Harlem, Harlem. You know what's interesting, Manhattan? Be like, Harlem, Harlem, Harlem. Respect Central Harlem. Respect East Harlem. But we are also continuing to grow, am I right? So LES is gonna be in the building one time. We're gonna get up to Spanish Harlem. We're gonna get, we're gonna cover the whole Harlem. Manhattan as well. So Manhattan makes some noise. Make some noise, Manhattan, come on. Yeah. The birthplace of hip hop with DXA. And that's Charlotte standing out in the building. Shout out to True to Life, Pin and Perry Inc., my boy, I am Mike, Malcolm and all of them out there, Rachel, all of y'all, we love y'all as well. Last but certainly not least, QU, y'all give it up for Queens. You want to do a wig on them? Ah! Ah! You gotta stay ready, right? We had one today. So I just got a quick presentation. I want y'all to understand what is the purpose of why we even added this to this platform. And this is so that we have an opportunity to do this, y'all. Our, our goal, part of what we talked about earlier, is really to bring us together. Right? Yes, we have the crisis management system. Yes, we understood that CMS was birthed out of the task force from which we all served on, and we worked diligently. But prior to then, it was the DIP All-Stars, right? Prior to then, our organizations existed as renegade organizations, right? Because before the money, we were still doing it. And so, it wasn't just a system, but the idea in this room is an example. Because there's men and women organizations that are not funded through the CMS system, but they are part of the gun violence awareness movement. Am I right? So I want people to understand that this is greater than even the CMS. This is about the movement. And that's what we've been continually harping and building on, the movement. That's what I'm talking about, the movement. together like we never did before, and I think today we're proving that. It's also about paving, right, the way forward. I said, we know where we came from, but now we gotta know where we are to know where we're going. So this is about also moving forward. We're not gonna get stuck in the past, we don't need to debate it anymore. We don't care about everybody's versions. Yo, we just need to move forward. Let's just move forward. Can we clap it up and greet a new day? At, at, at Gun Violence Awareness Month on the 2nd of June, throw your hands up if y'all was out there with us. When we was outside on the 2nd last June, on the 20, uh, June 2nd, we made history, y'all. Y'all remember we walked over that bridge? And we didn't take it the same way we took the caskets over. We took it over off the top, the pedestrian drop. This time, we took the street. 
And we made it so that we shut all the traffic down. When you shut down the traffic of the Brooklyn Bridge, you need to understand what you're doing. You're not only stopping the traffic, but you're stopping the subways. You're not just stopping the traffic going over the bridge, you're stopping the traffic on the FDR Drive. You're stopping the traffic on the West Side Highway. That's what we did. We stopped the traffic back there at Tillery Street in Brooklyn, and we took the street and we walked over the bridge to an appointment that was never been done before. And we watched this administration appoint different people as that day was leading up, but nobody got appointed the way that we did that day. We made history. And I, I'm very appreciative to those of us that, that walked over with us and we filled the whole city. I remember the officers were saying, how many more people are coming because we filled to capacity. I'm like, well, you might wanna make some more room. There's still people coming over the bridge. We turned out in the hundreds that day. But I was appointed a volunteer, and this is where people get it twisted. As a volunteer, I didn't go there that day to take a job. This wasn't AT going over there to get paid. This was AT saying that I was signing up again, as I did demonstrate what my sisters talked about in the past, to play my position. And I was appointed to one of the highest offices, it's not the highest, you heard the man say it himself. He's going to be working alongside all the other deputy mayors, all the other law commissioners. Every single agency is going to answer to this man. That's never been done before. Never did they ever appoint a formerly incarcerated person. You heard? Never did they appoint a person who's been shot before who's been stabbed, a person who grew up poor on the level of which I think I always say or, because I was so poor it was or, that it wasn't even a P or O. It was like, you wanna eat this or, you're not gonna eat nothing at all. I remember when I told my mother I was God, she said, and I don't eat pork, she was like, oh well you gonna be a real homie God. Tonight, we serving up them pork chops. Yo, but on the 2nd of June, literally, that was only just, y'all, you know, eight months ago, I was given this appointment to co-chair task force, right? And he put me right alongside the first deputy mayor. Then she was the deputy mayor. Who would have figured that in the future she was going to be appointed to become the first deputy mayor, right? And so that day, he put me right alongside Sheena Wright, clap it up for first deputy mayor Sheena Wright. And he also was able to name me to become something that never existed before again in history, the gun violence prevention czar. And this is where again a lot of people get it twisted when they hear my title. It says, gun violence 